Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Schultz and I am here to give you another review today. I purposely do not have any makeup on today because I am reviewing a makeup product for you. To be completely honest, that is kind of a lame excuse for not applying any makeup because the product that I am reviewing today is just an eyeliner. So technically, I could have applied foundation or powder or lip gloss or even some mascara, but I just think this is a perfect excuse and opportunity not to wear any makeup. And if I have an excuse not to apply makeup, especially at 10 o'clock at night, I am gonna take it. The product that I will be reviewing today is the Flick Stick. Dun dun da da. So the flick stick is supposed to make eyeliner application a lot easier, especially for people like me who are not experts when it comes to applying makeup and don't know what they're doing, especially when it comes to applying eyeliner. Also, I don't know if you've noticed lately, but there is a brand new trend when it comes to eyeliner that has to do with like the flick of the wrist. <laughs> but it's a winged eyeliner or kind of like a cat eye eyeliner thing that you do with your eyeliner and I want to try it out and that's what this is supposed to do. By the way, if you hear beeping in my video, it's because our fire alarm is low. In, oh, there it is. Is low in batteries. We tried to replace the battery and it's still not working. It's still beeping. I even tried pressing the button. It's still going. So pardon the beep. I should have just not told you anything about my smoke detector. That's so hard to say, smoke detector. So when you hear the beeping, you're like, what is that? Where is that coming from? And you start looking for it in your house. As I was saying, this flick stick that gives you the flick of the wrist or the winged eyeliner appearance is actually just a stamp. You heard me right, it's a stamp. I've seen this all over TikTok as a makeup applying hack. I actually also saw it on James Charles' video on YouTube where he did all of these makeup hacks. He didn't like it. He was not impressed. But I'm thinking that might be because he is like an expert when it comes to applying makeup. So he does not have a problem with eyeliner. I do. So I think I might like this. Also, for all of you that have been following me and watching my reviews, you would know if you go back and watch the eyeliner video that I did with the magnetic eyeliner and the magnetic eyelashes, I am a mess at applying eyeliner. I find it so challenging and I wasn't even really able to review the eyelashes because I had such a problem applying the magnetic eyeliner. I'm gonna put the link to that video in the description below so you could go check it out and have a good laugh. <laughs> if you look on Amazon, there are a ton of similar products that do similar things with the whole like stamp thingy majiggy, but I decided to go with the flick stick because it was Amazon's choice. It had a ton of reviews, so I always try to go with the one that has the top reviews and the highest rated. Also, the flick stick is waterproof, smudge proof, and life proof. It doesn't say it's child proof. I don't think there is anything that is child proof. If you have children, you know what I'm talking about. This is why we can't have nice things. It claims to be cruelty free and vegan, and it is distributed by Vogue FX, and it comes from New Zealand. Let's open this up. This is legitimately a stamp. How do I see if you can see this? Hold on. Can you see that? Oh, I understand why there's two. Is it one for each side? So you could stamp each side with the correct side stamp? Yeah, because you can't turn this around this way. That's why there's two. So you have one for each eye. Got it now. I understand. But yes, it's literally like a stamp, like my daughter's stamps that she uses when she's doing arts and crafts. And then the other side is like a marker, almost like a Sharpie marker, but it has a really sharp tip, so it might be easier to apply. I think the only way to figure out whether or not we like it and if it works is to head over to my bathroom and give it a try. And we're just gonna stamp it right on in. Hold on, maybe I need to do it in my mirror. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in my mirror. 
Ooh. Ooh. There's the wing. I see the wing. And you get the marker, and you're just supposed to draw a line and attach the wing to the rest of your eye. Let's do it. James Charles, what are you talking about? Oh, I love it. I am never, never, never able to apply eyeliner, ever. And the fact that I was just able to apply this so easily is making me seriously impressed right now. I mean, it's not perfect, don't get me wrong. I'm not like a pro like James Charles or anything. I am not the new makeup guru, but the fact that I knew exactly where to start because of the stamp and I just followed it all the way down is incredible. And I kind of like that it's like a sharp little marker. It makes it so much easier than liquid eyeliner and I don't love pencil eyeliner that much. So, so far so good. Now it's time for the other eye. Ready, set, go. Look at that, I have winged eyeliner. I mean, I'm like a bird, I'm gonna fly away. Okay, let's top this whole look off with some mascara and see what it looks like. My finished look. I'm gonna use some Lash Ease, which is a mascara that I reviewed in another video. You can go check out that video as well. I will put it down in the description. All right, that's pretty much it. I mean, I like it. Here's the final look. There's one eye that is definitely better than the other, but that's okay, that happens to me all the time, especially like when I'm painting my nails. I can paint one hand and not paint the other one. Plus, it's not that much of a difference. I am just thoroughly impressed that I was able to apply eyeliner at all and it's not a complete mess all over my face. Usually when I'm applying eyeliner, it's everywhere and I have to go in with makeup remover and fix it with like a little Q-tip. I did not have to do that once this time. Okay, so here are my final thoughts. If you like the look of winged eyeliner and you like eyeliner on the top of your lids and you like it a little bit thicker, then I would say yes, go for it, this is for you. Especially if you're not already really good or an expert at applying eyeliner, then this makes it a lot easier. Again, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than what I normally achieve when I'm trying to apply my eyeliner. So for me, it is a win. I also just like this eyelining pen in general. I found it to be really easy and simple. So if you didn't want to use the stamp, I guess you don't have to and you can just do the eyelining pen. But what I found so easy about it is stamping it on and just following the line down to the inside of your eye. Does that make sense? <laughs> Maybe I should put a little picture up here so you can see my before when I was talking to you versus now, the after. If you are interested in giving the flick stick a try for yourself, then I am gonna put the link in my description. You can go check it out. I'm also gonna be putting the link to my whole Amazon shop so you can see all the products that I have reviewed and love as well as all the products that I just use on a day-to-day -day basis. If you enjoyed this video and if you just enjoy review videos in general, then you may enjoy my channel in general. So you can think about hitting that little red button to subscribe, turn on notifications so that you never miss any of my videos. All right, I think that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again next time, next week, next Friday for my next review. Bye.